Hey there, I want to share with you a book I just finished reading yesterday called Ephron Divided. And it's written by a debut author called, er and his name is Ernesto Cisneros, a teacher actually. This book um, has been at my library for a couple months on display. I have kind of avoided it, but it has been on so many lists of Newberry contenders that I knew I needed to pick it up. I also have been looking for books um, that are own voices books and this one was going to fit the bill. So I picked it up. It is a book that is a little sad, but oh my goodness, there's so much heart in this story. And so I, I'm sorry I hesitated as long as I did. Um, I just loved it. It's a story about a family, a mother and father and um, their middle school son, Efren, and then there's kindergartner um, twins. And they live in California. The parents are undocumented workers and the children are um, American citizens. The mother and father work really hard, you know, hard working people that just barely make things, um, make, make things go. Um, they live in a, a studio apartment and, you know, pinch every penny just to do the right thing for their children. Now, one day, um, the mother is arrested from her job and taken back to Mexico, deported. And so that is just devastating for both all the family. The father starts working an extra job, working round the clock, trying to get enough money so that he can try to find someone that can rescue her and send her back to, and get her smuggled back into the United States. And um, Efren too is struggling at school, trying to help his family out and trying to get his work done. He's also involved with helping his best friend become student body president. And it's just a lot on his plate. And yet he is just determined that he can make a difference. Um, one of the things he does is he tells his father that he can help to get the money to his mother and he can actually walk across the border. His father wouldn't be able to because that he probably would be arrested as well. Oh my goodness, that gets to be a little exciting, a little dangerous, knuckle biting, um, but um, it, it really amps up the, the story, I have to say. So Efren Divided, if you're looking for a warm family story, yet a good story that talks about some of the issues today, but not in a heavy handed way, this is your book. It's got a lot of Spanish in it. And so I think it would be a great read aloud if, you're, if you as a teacher, can speak Spanish because you could easily read the story. It was a little intimidating to me at first until I caught on to the fact that he always had good context clues. There's also a nice da, um, glossary in the back, dictionary in the back, that you can um, take a look at as well. I didn't notice it at first. I don't know why. I should look right away. Um, and that helps as well. Uh, don't let that bother you or intimidate you. You can catch on to it. And it makes the story just more realistic. So I highly recommend Efren Divided. I think it might win something from the Newberry Awards this winter. I wouldn't be surprised. So Efren Divided by Ernesto Cisneros. I highly recommend it.